You've had a few days to kind of sink in that uh, you remember the Edmonton Oilers. What's it been like this last kind of week? Yeah, it's incredible. The facilities, all obviously here, incredible, and uh, the city's great. So it's uh, I haven't done much exploring of the city, but from what I see from my hotel room, it's pretty pretty nice. Just give us a thought, you know, on on now what what lies ahead for you now. Now you now that you know where your destination is, how do you kind of get there? Yeah, just keep doing what I've been doing, working hard and getting better every day. I think uh, if I'm getting that one percent better every day, I think things will uh, work out for me. What was the draft like for you and your family? It was so much fun. Uh, Nashville was a, a great city, and it was great to walk down Broadway and everything. And the food was great. The Edmonton team was great when I, I met them all. So uh, it was a really good experience. Now, for those that haven't had a chance to see you play, what, how would you describe yourself? What kind of defense would you describe yourself? Yeah, I'd describe myself as, as a smooth skating, two-way defenseman uh, with a bit of an offensive edge. Can you take us through just all the emotions that you felt over the past week? Oh, it's probably too many to count. Uh, it's been been uh, incredible getting down here, getting drafted. Obviously, you're so uh, happy and excited to get down to Edmonton, and then flight gets canceled, so it's a, a bummer. Um, but I'm just happy I'm here now. It's been uh, emotions have been everywhere. Have you had time to kind of wrap your head around, you know, being able to skate on the same ice as Connor McDavid, Leon Drysaddle, guys like that? Well, I haven't yet. Uh, it, it still feels like they're not even like real people. Like uh, it's you only see them on television. So I haven't seen either of those two guys uh, yet in person. So I think it'll be pretty incredible when I do. When you put on the uniform for the first time, can you take us through just those emotions, being able to look down and see that on your chest? Yeah, just super excited and super happy. Uh, obviously, I'm happy that I've made it here, but I'm super excited for the future and uh, super excited to work hard and uh, hopefully make this team uh, in a couple of years. How did your season go down there last year? Really good. My season uh, in Barry was a good season. Obviously, we had a good team, but just fell short in the second round of the playoffs. But what uh, is your primary goal this offseason for you to maybe take a step up and, and play a bigger role down in the U.S.? Yeah, definitely just looking to get bigger and stronger. I think uh, that's kind of been always been my weakness is not having that, that uh, weight to me. So I think I'm definitely looking to get bigger and stronger. Definitely going to be in the gym this summer. I've already gained like 15 pounds, so I'm pretty proud of myself there. So looking to gain some more and uh, going to season, into the season a little bit heavier. A couple of interesting drills that you had to do out there. Not as easy as Mr. Pelletier makes them look, eh? Not as easy as it looks. Yeah, it was definitely, it was, uh, I've never done that stuff before. Uh, that technique and stuff, so it was pretty difficult. Where do you feel your game excels? Like, what is your what are your, are your strengths? Would you say? I, I definitely say my vision, my passing, my skating. Really, uh, I excel, and I think I move the puck really well, and I use my my brain. Uh, I think my hockey sense is good, also, so I can make passes on the fly, and I think I play a really quick game. Uh, Paul, first impressions of just kind of the facilities here, and you know what could be here for you uh, at the NHL level if if you make it this far. Yeah, it's definitely something to look forward to. These are probably number one in the National Hockey League. From what I've heard, it's incredible everything that they have, all the food. Uh, the, the whole staff's been incredible. They've been so welcoming, so nice to me. Uh, all the other players, too, they've been really good. I've made some, some new friends here, and I think it's definitely exciting uh, looking into my future and hopefully it's striving to, to be in this dressing room full time. Have you had some good introductory conversations with the coaches? Like a lot of coaches, you'll you'll get to know pretty well uh, over the in the organiza organization over the next few years. Yeah, definitely. They've all kind of came up and introduced myself. I know for a young guy like me with a bad memory, it's kind of hard to uh, find out all the names. But they've all came up to me and introduced themselves. So it's been I've been uh, uh, lucky enough that they've done that for me. It's been great. What was like skating with the group out there today? Anything you've noticed just the first day out? Uh, no, not yet. I think it's just pretty special being on the ice here wearing Edmonton Oilers gear. I think that's just uh, the most special thing. It's kind of hasn't sunk in yet, um, but I'm, sh I'm sure it will in the next couple of days. You guys are heading to the golf course today. Yeah, golf game. Uh, pretty good sometimes. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a big slice to the right. Uh, sometimes you go straight. You never really know. How's the short game for the low scores. Uh, it's okay actually. It's been getting a lot better. Wedge game's pretty strong, so.